hello guys this is asif and in this tutorial we are uh, we are going to see how we can create a duplicate database in oracle using rman latest recovery manager so we are going to create a duplicate database in oracle using recovery manager so let's get started and see what we have got here So this is the database which is our target database. We are going to create a separate database which will have a separate name and whose files will be located in a separate drive. So let's see what this database is about. These are the data files of DB2. This is the temporary file of DB2 and this is the control file. And the redo log files of DB2 are So this is our whole database. We are going to create a duplicate database of DB2. So the steps which I am going to follow in this tutorial are first of all I will create a simple parameter file whose name is going to be initdb3.ora then I am going to create a separate service using ora dim utility of oracle the service name I am going to give it is db3 that means db3 is going to be our database name then I am going to create a password file using oracle utility aura pwd after that I am going to configure the listener and services for db3 so that uh, my SQL session could connect with DB3. That means I am going to update listener dot aura file and TNS names dot aura file. After that, I am going to perform full backup of DB2 using Armin. Then I am going to do note down all the database files of db2 start db3 in no mount mode which means uh, this database service db3 will be started using a parameter file which we have created in the first step after that i will connect with our main in auxiliary database mode that means I will connect with two database services I will connect with target database as well as I will connect with the uh, DB3 then I am going to write a script in which I will execute the command duplicate target database after that I will come into SQL and add temporary file into the temporary table space of db3 finally i am going to verify the creation of database whether it's successful or not so let's get started and create uh, follow the first step which is creating a initialization parameter file as you know initialization parameter file exist in database folder
so this is my oracle home i will go inside the database folder this is my database folder here i will create a simple empty file its name is init db3 dot aura now i will update this file to include all the required parameters these are the parameters of db3 this is the location where auditing is going to be held auditing information this is background dump test core dump test and user dump test i have already created these folders i will just verify it So these folders have already been created. I have created these folders inside db3 directory. That means I have created db3 directory also. Then this parameter is com uh, compatibility uh, related with compatibility. The control file of this database which is going to be created right now is going to be held into Aura data db3 control folder then i am going to give this database a name which is db3 many of these parameters are optional so if you want to remove them you can remove them however just for easy to understand purpose i have included all these parameters all these parameters are not necessary few of them for example control file is necessary so let's proceed further and save this now we have performed the first step which is creating initialization parameter file now we will perform the second step which is creating db3 service and password file so okay this step can be removed or you can say create db service so i will go into dos prompt exit ls aura dim new sid db3 so the instance has been created now we will verify whether this instance has been created or not using the services utility of windows So here you can see that db3 service has been created and it's in uh, started position. So I'll just close it. So our second step is also completed. Now we will perform our third step which is the creation of password file for db3 service. And we will use Aura PWD utility for this purpose so i will say aura pwd file is it's going to be saved here just copy this name of the file is going to be aura pwd 3 dot aura 
password of this uh, of this user is going to be so that you can specify as you wish entries are five force equal to y now we will verify whether file has been created or not Okay, this is the file which we have just created. Now proceed further and move to the next step which is configuration of listener.ora and TNS names.ora files. So let's proceed and see what I have already configured in my TNS names.ora and listeners.ora. I'll show you the entries. These are very simple entries. Okay. These are the entries of listener.ora. I have included here DB3 service. That's all. And this is already there so I have just added I have just added this part in TNS uh, in listener dot aura file now I will show you the entries from TNS names dot aura DNS names dot orf file has got these two entries. DB2 service name is pointing to DB2 database. DB3 service name is pointing to DB3 database. I'll just close it because uh, I have already added these entries in TNS names dot aura and listener dot aura file so our fourth step is also completed and now we are going to perform our fifth step